Well, good morning. It is March 12th, 2018. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In one and a half miles, take exit 23 for Gerard Avenue toward Delaware Avenue. We are heading into Fishtown section of Philadelphia where parking is always a nightmare. Fortunately, this customer has uh, parking behind his residence and it's uh, gated, so he said text him before we get there and he'll, he'll let us in, which is great. Um, customers complaining that there's staining on the drywall, ceiling in the closet, and possibly mold or mushrooms or something growing on the outside of their shower. So my guess is either they've got a leaky drain or a leaky pipe in the ceiling uh, of, of, the sh of the closet, you know, underneath the shower pan there somewhere, or maybe they just have a silicone issue, not really sure. Might have to cut the ceiling open and take a look. Won't know until I get there really what's going on. I'm uh, gonna try to get you as many shots as I can. Homeowner's home, uh, the husband's there. Um, he said that uh, He'll be there all day, so I don't like to be rude and, and videotape anything that's going to interfere with my clients. So I try to take uh, these videos uh, without interfering with their life at all. Uh, and while I'm on the record here, I'd like to say the reason I, I take these videos, it's kind of like threefold. One, if this customer ever calls me back and says, hey listen, I'm having that same problem again. I deal with lots and lots of people, and sometimes I deal with people on a one-time basis. They'll hire me, I'll do some job for them, and a year or two will go by, and they'll say, hey, you were here and you did this. And uh, I can look it up, see the video, ah, here's what I did, I have an understanding of the job before I get back there. Um, or I can look at it and say, yeah, you know what, it, it, I remember telling you about that pipe, I told you it looked kind of hokey, you didn't want to change it. It might be that, you know? It gives me some insight. The other reason is I use it for training. When I have uh, people that uh, either work with me or for me, uh, or are interested in learning something from me, I let them watch the video. Um, sometimes I upload them to YouTube, where you're probably watching this right now. And it's giving you an idea of, you know, the kind of troubles that somebody could run into and, and, and what they have to go through to rectify those troubles and fix things. And uh, the third reason is liability purposes. If someone says, oh, well, you know, you did this or you did that, I can go back and prove that this is not what I did. Here's exactly what I did. Here's a video of it showing you what I did. Now, granted, the videos might be cut. You know, I might cut out the boring parts where I run to the truck and get a tool and left the camera going. You don't want to sit there watching a the wall for five minutes while I'm going to grab a wrench or something. So I'll cut stuff like that out. But all the important stuff, all the maneuvers I make, everything that I do, I try to keep uh, recorded and part of the video. So we're here now. We're in Philadelphia. Again, it's called the City of Brotherly Love. That's the nickname, which I really don't understand because last year in 2017, 341 people were murdered in the City of Brotherly Love. 341 people murdered. Now, you figure that out by 52 weeks in a year, that comes out to about six people murdered per week. So if you got six people murdered per week, Somebody's getting murdered every day except for like one day a week. So they must take off for the Sabbath and, and murder and slaughter each other the rest of the time. It doesn't really make much sense. So anyway, here we are. We're getting off Girard Avenue. We're about four minutes away from the client's home. Uh, I'll try to get you as many shots as I can right after this. Yeah, I see the pen mark you drew around it. It really hasn't grown. Not very much at all. And maybe an eighth of an inch. You say in three months? Yeah. That's what's so weird. It's like I don't know how long it's been there. Because or... your pen lines are pretty much following the design of that. Yeah. So it's like it's like one drip every now and then. Mm. All right, so. Upstairs. All 
right there. It's leaking from right here. Right there. That's where she is. silicone around it. I think that he fixed his own problem here. I don't think it's the drain. Because depending on which way that drain is going, I think there's a crack right along there. The tile.
All right, so the good news is there's no mold up there. Yes, that's the biggie. The other good news is your husband actually fixed the problem. I oh, think. really? Yeah. Nice. If you want to look, you can probably see it from right here. I mean, it didn't fix your drywall problem, but if you look right yeah. up between all those pipes up at the wood at the yeah. ceiling, stand right here and look straight up. See the wood at the ceiling? Yeah. See there's a block of wood that runs this way? Uh-huh. Look just to the left of it, you see the staining from the water where it leaked under the wood. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. But it's all dry. Okay. That's the seam of where that okay. shower is. And that's where it's been leaking. That side's dry. Yeah. That's right where that seam is. Okay. And that's where it was leaking. It was dripping onto this pipe. Yeah, you can see it. And then running down. around and then dripping straight I down see. onto it. Yeah. So there's no mold anywhere up top okay. of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But right up there, right along where right along where the top of that beam is, is the staining of where the water was coming around. And it's not dripping at all. Not a bit. That is great. Water shower is running right now from both sides, which is yeah. kind of cool. Not many people have that, but that's kind of cool. Yeah. And uh, I can hear the water coming through here and there's, there's nothing, there's no problem. That's awesome. Sorry. Stick those screws a little bit through the paper.
So we're waiting for the hot mud to dry. It's 20 minute mud. Should be dry in 20 minutes. It's on thin enough. Just wanted to show you some images of where I'm at. This is common in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where they have patio areas on the roof because there is no yards around here to speak of anyway. There's so many buildings and so much uh, industry and whatnot that there really isn't any place to set a patio up. Everybody has either decks or patios on their roof. I just thought I'd share that with you. I come from Maine originally and uh, up there you've got rolling acres, acres upon acres of grass and everything. So I'm not even really kind of used to this myself. I, I, I wouldn't live like this. I have a backyard where I'm at. I just, this is, this is way too city for me. These folks are nice people to work for. Um, I guess they're both working from home today. They're both on the computer. They're very personable, very nice. Offered me something to eat, something to drink. Of course, I bring my own stuff, so I never take that from customers. I just think it's bad for business, but um, nice people to work for. We just checked on the drywall, uh, the first coat, tape coat, and it's drying up nicely. Still probably going to have about 15 minutes of dry time. Um, maybe more. It's really hot in that house. Humidity is probably peaking near 100%. That usually makes the drywall mud, the hot mud, dry slowly. So, we'll just hang out here.
normally in Fishtown, Philadelphia, you don't have any parking available. As you can see from these side roads, most all parking spots are taken up. Or you can't fit in them. Or well, there's a fire hydrant or something. Anyway, we got the job done. Cut open the ceiling after we found out exactly where it was leaking from. And uh, found that there was no visible mold up there that I could see. Took a video up in there and showed the client what it looked like up in there. The wife actually took a picture as well and uh, could see that the water was leaking around through the pan of the shower. So it wasn't anything major. The husband actually siliconed around there. He said I think a couple weeks ago and uh, there hasn't been any change. So he's actually fixed the problem himself but he needed the peace of mind of knowing that when I cut that ceiling out of there, that there wasn't mushrooms and mold growing everywhere. That's what he was afraid of, mushrooms and mold, he told me. So the place looks clear. I'm not a mold specialist. I can't certify it as being mold free. I looked up in there, felt around. I didn't see anything that even resembled dust. So I'm pretty confident within myself that he's pretty clear of any future issues.